What's up guys? It's your boy Powers in the building. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're an amazing happy day. Today I have a visitor who is gonna help me to react on this video. She's on new, but you're gonna love her. She's beautiful. But we are going to react to the most craziest ultras video in Asia. Her name is Debra. You wanna talk to people? Say hi. Hello. So Let's go to this video actually because I've been doing this video for the most like longest they are the longest videos I do 2015 to 20 to 30 minutes but let's see this one is only five minutes I hope I expect to see some of my best videos in Asia in this top five you ready yeah I'm in love with my bestie and I don't know what to do Sometimes I feel say she they feel the same way I do. The Asian supporter scene is highly <laughs> underreported. Fan culture has had roots in the continent since the 1970s, where the terraces of Europe first began to influence football culture around the globe. Today, Asian football is on the rise, and with the expansion of the World Cup and high levels of investment being thrown into international football, the sport and culture around it are destined yeah, no, to grow exponentially. Yeah. Here's a little taste of some of Asia's best ultras groups. At five, it's Urawa Boys. The famous Urawa Boys were established the top in 1997. Five in how many Asian countries? At that time, there were 11 big ultras groups sharing the Urawa fan scene. So Kurva Yura S Boys. was created to represent the entire supporters section. However, the Kurva S and all 11 groups were disbanded in 2014 after a banner reading Japanese only led to allegations of racism in the stands. Today, there is no main group in the Urawa stand, from. but this has not dampened the atmosphere at Urawa Reds matches. Wow. Former Urawa boys and most of the other groups share Italian ultras culture and often display flags of Che Guevara Ooh. as an anti-establishment symbol. Like this. Due to the club's incredible yeah. success, Euroa fans are some of the most well-traveled in Asia, and certainly amongst the best known. They are kind of At four, it's Frente Tricolor. Frente Tricolor are the most passionate and intense supporters in the K-League. They have always been there wow, for the Suwon smart. Samsung Blue Wings, through 20 Tricolor. trophies including four championships and two Asian Champions League titles. Originally formed in 1995 under the name Grand Bleu, they are the most influential in Korea, regularly bringing 5,000 active supporters to games. With a unique story of two supporters groups who united in 2012, they created oh, they a South American Korea. style of support involving banners, confetti, umbrellas, flags, and Latin style chanting. Their mottos are the first and the best, and our past See, I saw that in Indonesia. Indonesia, I saw that the only one who threw At three, it's Boys of Straits. The Boys of Straits were established in 2013. Their club, Johor Darul Tazim is located in the south of Malaysia. That is Malaysia! They're currently the most successful team in the country, having three titles in a row, and in 2015, they became the first ever Southeast Asian knew. club to win an AFC Cup, Asia's equivalent to the Europa League. The Boys of Straits have only five to six hundred active members. However, they are the most active group in a country that is quickly embracing fan culture. They often use pirate references in their TIFOs, as they're located in Selat Tebral, whose nearby waters were historically infamous for piracy. The Boys of Straits largely take inspiration from the Indonesian scene, as the two countries often share yeah, melodies and terrorist culture. This is a unique Who's example of Asian fans game? getting inspiration from within the continent, rather than looking outwards to Europe and South America. At two, it's Bengal Brigade. Wow. The East Bengal Ultras, known as Bengal Brigade, were first established in 2013. East Bengal FC Bangal is one of the Brigade. oldest clubs in India, established in 1920. During the 1970s, East Bengal became popular in Asia for its good football and hardcore supporters, who established a legacy of aggression and pyro. The club's logo is a torch, a tradition which they carry on today as they light up the terraces across India. Today, the Bengal Brigade draw inspiration from Ultrasland, the Galatasaray Ultras, mainly due to the similar colours and the intense passion they share. 
And at number one is Brigata Kurva Sud 1976. Ooh, man. With over 8,000 supporters, Brigata Kurva Sud is one of the two major active supporters of Indonesian and second division side, PSS Sleman. The name Brigade Kurva Sud refers to the southern terrace channel. they occupy and the number 1976 is in homage to the year of the club's birth. They take yes, inspiration from the Italian ultra scene, naming their group Brigata Curva Sud or South Curve Brigade. This is reminiscent of AC Milan's Brigata Rossonera. I love those their TIFOs, pyro and active stance against club management decisions are reminiscent of the active seven days a week type of dedication you see from Europe's oldest fan groups. Despite being in the second division for the past decade, every weekend their end of the stadium is packed with green and black. It's in that end, week in, week out, amongst a sea of individual banners and flags that you'll bear witness to incredible choreographies that include pop culture references like smiley faces, unlike buttons, rings of fire, as well as general homages to the club's history. That was the top five Asian supporter groups. Leave us a comment oh, if you think yeah, this any other the group in Asia. See? And don't forget to subscribe to Copper90 for oh. more content yeah, like this. Yeah, he's in black. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, shit. Azare Suleiman was the best. PSA Suleiman. Actually, I never focus on that bad. Right now, I focus on it. But I've been doing this video, like I said, for so many times. And for those who are watching this video, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep doing more videos like this because I also have fun with them. I don't know if you do. But thank you so much for watching. I had a guess. I don't know if you had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. What did you enjoy about the video? Let me hold for the microphone. What did you enjoy about the video? I've enjoyed the fireworks, the red papers, you know. She enjoyed the fireworks and toilet papers. But anyway, we shall be doing more videos if you want to see her more of the time. Just comment in the section below that. Bring her next time. And I'll bring her in more videos because she kind of like what I do. Thank you so much. Like I told you last time, you see more people in the channel when I come to react to videos every single day. So I hope to see you in another video tomorrow. Peace. Bye. I'm in love with my bestie and I don't know what to do Sometimes I feel say she they feel the same way I do